this behind me. How could you come to Niagara Falls and not do this? All right, so you're headed to Niagara Falls. And much like before I went, you're probably trying to figure out what side is best for you, the American side or the Canadian side. Well, in this travel guide, I'm gonna to try to give you tips and advice on which side works best for you. And now it's time for number one of three of my Tones travel tips. Don't forget your passport. It's the only thing that was needed as an American citizen to go across and come back. However, when crossing the bridge, you might want to avoid peak travel times, especially on weekends and holidays. As I was told, the lines can be as long as two hours. We crossed over at 10 p.m. and then again at 5.30 a.m. and only had to wait a few minutes. Now, probably the most popular attraction is the boat tour. On the American side, it's called the Maid of the Mist, and on the Canadian side, it's called the Hornblower. We finally did it. We took it to the year 2018, but we made it. Now, while it looked to me at least that both tours are very similar, the American side did have one advantage. When you get off the Maid of the Mist, you actually get to walk up close and personal to the falls, up a little pathway called the Crow's Nest. It is not raining. We're standing probably as close to Niagara Falls as you can get. I don't know if you can hear me. We're standing pretty close. Now on the Canadian side, I did see quite a few casinos. I didn't get to check those out though. But where we stayed was a place called Clifton Hill. Now let me tell you, this place has something for everybody. A giant Ferris wheel, haunted houses, miniature golf, laser tag. Oh, and a very interesting Ripley's Believe It or Not where only the strangest creatures exist. <laughs> <laughs> and oh yeah, they have a brand new giant fun go-kart track. And now it's time for another Tones travel tip. You're going to want to book all your major activities in advance as they do sell out. We tried to book the zip line on the Canadian side on a Sunday around 10.30 a.m and they were pretty much all booked for the day other than one tour left at nighttime. Also, pack your patience as Niagara Falls is a very popular tourist destination, so there will be some long lines. Now on the American side, you can get several nice views at different vantage points. But it's on the Canadian side where you actually can see the entire falls. Plus at nighttime when they put the lights on the falls, is definitely a sight to see. Now I think by far our favorite part of Niagara Falls was doing the Cave of the Winds tour, which is only located on the American side. They give you a poncho and sandals, and boy, are you going to need it. Wow, that's all I have to say. Look at that back there, crazy. There's something so amazing standing that close to the falls. I mean, you can hear the power of the water falling. You can smell the water in the air. It's definitely an experience worth doing. Okay, it's time to go up to the final deck. It's called the Hurricane. Let's see if it lives up to its name. I have a funny feeling. I think it is. Oh, and here's where those ponchos and sandals came in very handy. Stay out of this hurricane. It's crazy out here. Now here's my final Tones travel tip. Even if you bought a ticket in advance like we did, you still have to go over to the Cave of the Winds tour booth to book a time for that day. No reservations are taken in advance. You will also want to go early. We got to the booth around 3 p.m. on a Saturday and the earliest reservation they could give us that day was 7 p.m. This worked fine for us as it gave us time to enjoy the park and ride Made of the Mist. 
So if you're planning a trip to Niagara Falls, do yourself a favor, plan at least for one full day on each side. The Canadian side has so many fun activities, you'll never be bored. And on the American side, being able to go up to the crow's nest after the Maid of the Mist and doing the Cave of the Winds tour are surely experiences you do not want to miss out on. Can you feel the power of Niagara? All right, guys, make sure you like this video and subscribe here to Toned In Entertainment. Now, are you heading to Niagara Falls? What are your travel plans? Or was there something we missed while we were in Niagara Falls? Leave me a comment below and let me know.